Hello everyone, this is Vai Manohar Reddy, Department of Cyber Security, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. So today I am going to talk about concept of pseudo random number generation. Concept of pseudo random number generation. So we already uh, seen that uh, different types of numbers are available in number theory. So we already discussed the different types of numbers and different types of numbers, how they are useful to provide security in the real time concept. So now the concept is a pseudo random number generation. So there are different types of numbers are there, but particularly pseudo random numbers generation. Why we are going to choose this pseudo random number generation? So what is the purpose to have this type of uh, random numbers generation? So generally, so we can uh, have different types of numbers uh, provide different types of securities in real time contract. So there a capture generation and what it is generation and resetting password generation. So these are all different types of number generations based on pseudo random number generation. So why that's why we are going to talk about this pseudo random number generation. So first of all random numbers. So what is meant by random number? So we can see different types of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are all different types of numbers. So the numbers which we can predict for that generation to the next sequence. So can we predict them and can not may not be predicted. So one if we generate the number is one. The next number is maybe the same number or may not be the same number. So maybe the same number means one one may not be the same number that means one or two. So the random numbers generation. So the random numbers. So we can see there are two types of numbers. One is the same numbers and the second one is the different numbers. The different numbers are nothing but random numbers. The random numbers are nothing but pseudo random numbers. Pseudo random numbers. So they can have like 1, 2, 3, 4 format or 4, 1, 2, 3 format. So you can see different types of different formats that are all the numbers having different variations to provide security, to provide security. So exactly we can say that when we are having the mobiles, when you are logging to the banking applications, it is asking you to enter OTPs. So the OTP numbers are maybe the four digits, maybe the six digits or maybe the three digits. So we can have different types of digits. So three digits OTP or four digits OTP and six digits OTP is also generated in the banking sectors. So that all the banking sectors provide security for the different types of applications like <coughs> mobile or uh, user friendliness or user applications or user accounts, social accounts, banking accounts, anything. Anything we are going to provide security with the help of these number generations. With the help of these <coughs> number generations. So that is what we are going to talk about uh, this random number generation in this unit, right? So exactly what is meant by pseudo random number or random bit generator? So random number generations, random numbers are generated by this pseudo random bit generator. And it is a deterministic algorithm. It is one type of algorithm which it is given a truly random binary sequence of length n, which is given a truly random binary sequence of length n. Length n. So the OTP is length three digits or four digits or six digits, right? And captures length three digits or four digits or five digits or anything depending upon the different uh, applications they are using right so that is truly random binary sequence of length n outputs a binary sequence of length n greater than n the number of digits were participated is the number of length of that uh, digits participated so sequence of length ln is uh, greater than n which appears to be the random 
which appears to be a random and with uh, length being it is a polynomial so being a polynomial so this is all entire statements is going to tell that the your random number generation the random number generated by the generator is having the length of that number and which should be the sequence of length greater than n and it it appears as the l should be the polynomial so that is what we mentioning here and while coming to this point uh, the random number this is the generator of uh, random bit generator pseudo random bit generator and uh, applying input uh, as a seed the input to the generator is called as seed input to the generator is called as seed so the seed as a input is applied to this generator the sequence of the output is generated the sequence of the output is generated as a 0 1 2 or 2 3 4 5 or 9 6 4 5 like the way this is all you will get the output sequence of the number generation this is all you will get the output sequence of the number generation so the input to the prbg is called as seed and the output is called as pseudo random bit sequence and the pseudo random numbers which are the numbers generated from some random internal values random process random variables random eval values and these are all we discussed in the <coughs> random process on that the they are very hard for an observer to distinguish from two random numbers so it is very difficult to find that the numbers we are getting is very truly random numbers or not so we can say that it is not a truly random numbers it having a pseudo random numbers so the truly random numbers are pseudo random numbers truly random numbers which we can predict them which we can predict them the pseudo random numbers can we cannot predict them we cannot predict them to the next generation of the sequence so this is all about the pseudo random number generation so pseudo random number is random number is having the number but pseudo random number is what the number which we cannot predict to the generation for the next sequence to the next sequence that we cannot predict it we cannot predict that so that pseudo random numbers uh, pseudo random numbers are generated by this pseudo random bit generator I also said that a short form as prbg pseudo random bit generator so that is going to generate all the bits to the output sequence so how it is going to perform the input seed is applied to the generator input seed is applied to the generator and this generator performs some random internal values performs some random internal values on the operations and generate an output sequence as like this way as like this way so this all you can say that it is a output sequence of this seed output sequence of this seed performed by random bit generator so this is the way uh, we can generate the different types of random numbers based on the random bit generator right and we'll see how it is performing action so when you are applying the input sequence to this generator and it is a running polynomial time it is having some time time t equals to 0 t equals to 1 up to t equals to n the input was z so this is the input and uh, the zero is as output zero is as the output the input was g of x and z is the input and it is added into this uh, random bit generator and produce as output produce as output so like the way you can understand from this point so g of x and z is the inputs of this random bit generator and the random bit uh, sequence or you can say that seed also and this wavelength of this uh, wavelength of this input and it is added to this uh, random bit generator and gives the output and gives the output so by seeing this above figure it is a statistical experiment suggested by suggested by this definition so a truly random sequence or the output of the generator initialized with the random seed are given to the advisory 
So if the probability of 1 by 2, if the probability of 1 by 2, that means we will get the a truly random number or we will get the pseudo random number. There may be a chance. There, there are two types of numbers, but we will get the only one number. So that is maybe the truly random number or that may be the pseudo random number. So that is the probability. So then the advisor decides a polynomial time which sequence it was. So what is the sequence? The sequence which is generated from this random bit generator is decided by this polynomial time. Decided by this polynomial time. So like the way you can understand. And see, we'll see some example for to generating the random numbers from the program. So this is what we are written in the C program, C language programming. So here we can have the functions. We don't want to mention any separate comments or any separate uh, instructions to the program because the system call, the system calls interacted with the operating system. This is said to be the system call for the operating system point of view. So this system call is directly interacted with the operating system with the hardware components, hardware components, kernel, uh, system calls, system calls, kernel. So this kernel is interacted with the system calls and the system calls are interacted with the hardware machines. So when you are applying, when you are writing this function in the program, automatically it interacts with the hardware machines as well as kernel. Automatically it interacts with the hardware machines or kernel and it displays the values that are being generated from the random bit generator. So from random bit generator, it is going to display some random numbers. So rand is the function to generate different types of numbers on the basis of hardware components, on the basis of hardware components. Generally, the operating system cannot recognize the program directly, cannot be recognized the program directly. It intimates to the hardware components, it intimates to the kernel operating system. The following codes are presented here. And you can understand this all the codes with the help of system calls, with the help of system calls. So this is the system call presented for process management and that system call is presented for the process management because they that is going to be executed, that is going to be executed. So RAND is the function which interacts with the operating system directly from this program and it generates some random numbers. It generates some random numbers. So from this program, you can say that int i equals to 0, i less than equal to 4, and i plus plus. So you can uh, write like outputs as 1, 2, 3, 4, or 1, 0, 8, 1, 0, 8, 3, 4, or 8, 0, 3, 9, 8. Like the way you can get up to 4 random numbers, 4 random numbers, because we are mentioning 4 as the uh, number. So, like the way four random numbers are being generated. So, but we are writing here s rand, s rand of time of zero. This means is it if you mention this uh, s rand, that is nothing but pseudo rand, pseudo rand, pseudo rand is the function, pseudo rand is the function with the help of time, with the help of time. It is going to display or generates the different types of pseudo random numbers, different types of pseudo random numbers for the multiple times, for the multiple times that is nothing but n number of times. When you are refreshing or when you are executing your program multiple times, it is going to be generated multiple random numbers, multiple pseudo random numbers. If you are not mentioning this s rand of time of zero, if you are not mentioning that s rand of time of zero, what will we get with the help of this random function? With the help of this random function, we can get the values are this same random, same values, same values, same values. We we'll get same values means when you are refreshing always, when you are refreshing or when you are executing multiple times, when you are executing multiple times, the automatically the values are displaying same values for the multiple times. Same values for the multiple times. 
if you are mentioning s random s rand of time of zero so particular time based on the particular time it is going to generate pseudo random numbers based on the particular time it is going to generate different types of pseudo random numbers so this is the way we can understand so this is the rand is the function to display different types of random numbers but whether it is continuously generating random numbers or not yes it is continuously generating but the first time generated random numbers are again generated again generated up to how many times you are going to execute but when you are mentioning this s rand of time of zero the sequence of the generations random number generations will be the different types different different types so when you are executing for the first time it will be generated one quotes when you are executing this multi multi next time it is going to generate again this one again this one again this one means pseudo random the name itself it is going to generate different random numbers for the multiple times for the multiple executions so when you are doing multiple executions it is going to display multiple random numbers but not the same numbers but not the same numbers but when you are mentioning this one automatically it displays the random numbers as same for the multiple execution multiple execution so this is the way we can understand the program to generating random numbers and next here so a pseudo random number a pseudo random bit generator pseudo random bit generator passes the next bit test if and only if it passes all poly time statistical test all poly time statistical test means whenever you are executed your program the next bit the next bit of the sequence is predicted or not so that means the predicted bit is the sequence of the generated bit the predicted bit is the sequence of the generated bit whether two is whether two are equal or not whether two are equal or not so that is what we are performing this speed this speed or this test so see here so we already said that the input is nothing but seed the input to the generator is called as seed and this is a generator p or b is generator and the output sequence is b0 b1 b2 you can say that anything 0 1 2 3 4 5 like the way, 8 6 7 8 like that. so this input seed is applied this random seed is applied to the generator and this generator function generates the sequence this generator function generate the some sequence 1 0 0 1 1 0 2 1 like the way this generating the sequence but from here the ith bit the ith bit are nothing but expected expected bit expected bit or predicted bit so the predicted bit predicted bit suppose i can predict like zero i can predict for the next time one i can predict for the next time zero i can predict for the next time one if the predicted bit is the equals to this output sequence if this predicted bit is uh, predicted bit is equals to the output sequence then or these two bits are equal then it is going to say that the prbc passes the next bit test it is passes to the next bit test or else it is not passes to the next bit test for if and, uh, for the polynomial tests so that means the 0 1 2 3 or 0 1 0 1 these are all different bits that you are going to expect or that you are going to predict it but these are all generated from the generator so this generated bits are equals to this predicted bit then this generated bit is added to this function added to this function and this output is generated here output is generated so when predicted i i bit predicted i bit is here zero and here from zero when both two are equal when both two are equal then you can say that a prbg passes the next bit test if and only if it passes all poly time statistical tests says that all poly time statistical tests so that is the way you can understand this program right 
and we will see so i will assume this one from the point of uh, diagram so assume first that the prbg does not pass the next bit test so pseudo random bit generator if it doesn't pass the next bit if it doesn't pass the next bit it is clearly say that the such a poly time algorithm is a statistical test that allows to distinguish the output string from a truly random string that allows only the truly random string so whichever the random string is predicted for the first time it is going to be uh, displayed it is going to be generated for the next sequence of the string so that's why it is clearly say that the polytime algorithm is a statistical test and that allows to distinguish the output distinguish the output means differentiate the output string from a truly random string so guess the last bit from the previous ones and check whether it is the same as the actual last bit or not so from the sequence of this one the last bit is equals to this generated bit a uh, predicted bit so the last sequence of this bit is predicted to the this bit or not so that is what we mentioned here that is what we mentioned here previous ones and check whether it is the same as the actual last bit same as the actual last bit on the other hand assume that prbg passes the next bit test prbg passes the next bit test that is for every poly bounded mission every bit looks random given all the previous bits given all the previous bits so every bit is looking like a random number and random bits from the generated uh, ra random bit generator and this clearly implies that the entire string looks random entire string looks random so that is chosen according to a uniform distribution uniform distribution so this is all what we having the description over here this is all what we having a description over here so this is the random seed which is having like input to the generator input to the generator and this generator passes the sequence generator passes the sequence and this is the predicted bits the predicted bits are going to be the uh, sequence or not so the predicted bits and this output sequence when both are is set to be the equal when both are set to be the equal then it is set to be the prbg passes the next bit test now if and only if it passes all polynomial statistical tests it passes all polynomial statistical test so this is the way you can understand this all the time and from here you can say that one thing so this pseudo random number generation is mainly used for what is mainly used for the applications like the applications like so applications of uh, pseudo random bit generations pseudo random bit generation is what uh, so first of all uh, otp is generation otp is generation so to generating the otps and the second one is to generate the captchas to generate the captchas to generate the captchas and uh, to generate or to generate or reset the passwords to generate or reset the passwords reset the passwords reset the passwords so these are all some different types of applications uh, having to generate different types of pseudo random bit generations so uh, this random bit generation performs with the help of uh, pseudo random bit generator random bit generator with the help of rand function with the help of rand function this function is uh, derived from this function is derived from rand toolbox rand toolbox this rand toolbox contains all the different types of random numbers all the different types of random numbers so it is going to be having all the different types of random numbers when you are asking for a resetting password when you are asking for a uh, captchas when you are asking for a otps this rand toolbox this program is performing and this program is calling this rand system call and this rand system call is going to 
contact with this uh, toolbox and the toolbox is pick up in some random numbers the toolbox is pick up in some random numbers that is 0 or uh, uh, that is 8 or that is 1 or that is 5 so like that it is pick up in randomly this random toolbox is going to pick up in random numbers randomly from this all random toolbox from this all random toolbox from this all random toolbox so like the way this all the pseudo random bit generator performs random functions and this random functions are going to be performed random toolbox and this random toolbox are going to be pick up in the random numbers from this all the uh, random toolbox contain the numbers so pick up in all these numbers and uh, giving as a OTPs to the user and giving as a output a password to the user and giving as a captures to the captures images to the user so when captures generations the captures are generated both the concept of images as well as numbers images as well as numbers so here the numbers are randomly chosen from this point numbers are randomly chosen from this random toolbox random toolbox so these are all the different types of applications to generating random numbers to generating random numbers to provide your data to be secure so that is why we are saying that to keep our data to be secure to keep our data to be secure keep data safe keep data safely or keep data keep data privacy so to keep our data to be very privacy or to keep our data to be very safety we are going to hide our data we are going to hide our data or we are going to perform some encryption or decryption on the data so that encryption or decryptions or encoding or decryptions are all performing uh, based on these random bit generators performing based on these random bit generators so this is what we uh, understand from this diagram and this is going to say that uh, the predicted one predicted numbers and the generated numbers are both are equal or not both are equal or not if it is equal then it says that it passes all the next bit test if and only if if and only if the next bit test passes all poly time statistical tests poly time statistical tests or else it is not going to be uh, passes all the next bit tests it is not going to be passes the next bit test right so this is all about pseudo random number generations pseudo random number generations thank you like, share and subscribe, hit the bell icon for more updates.